It's shocking. A supermassive black hole has suddenly shifted its position and now has Earth in its sights. What could be more terrifying than the idea of a black hole heading straight for our beautiful blue world? NASA's latest shocking discovery shows that this scenario can come true. We need to be prepared and show you where the black hole is currently located and how long it will take to reach us. It's huge and it moved. This black hole shocked scientists by doing something that was thought to be impossible. It changed direction and is now pointing its greedy maw right in our direction. The good news is it's far enough away that we don't have to worry about being disintegrated by this monster. In fact, it's at the center of another galaxy that's moving away from us rather than towards us. Lucky for us, but there is also bad news. We don't know where all such extreme black holes can be found. Our research in this area is only just beginning, and there are also blind spots within our galaxy where we cannot see or can only see very poorly due to dust clouds and gas nebulae. It is therefore impossible for us to know what is there. But before we turn to the real threat of black holes in our galactic environment, let's take a look at the transformation of a monster hole in the galaxy PBCJ233.9 that so shocked researchers. PBCJ233.9 was first identified and categorized as a radio galaxy. Typical of radio galaxies are strong radio emissions emanating from their active galactic nuclei, and these radiations can also produce extremely large jets, sometimes extending over hundreds of thousands of light years. Jets are particularly energetic bursts of radiation that affect matter. The shock came when astronomers noticed that the supermassive black hole at the center of the galaxy had dramatically changed its orientation. This extraordinary observation showed that the black hole had just rotated by 90 degrees. These are scenes straight out of a horror movie. Imagine sitting at a telescope and looking at such a huge thing that can suck stars and planets into itself like nothing. You're reassured because the thing is actually far enough away. But then it suddenly turns around and the monster looks straight at you. And the horror movie continues. The monster's two tentacles start to waft towards the ground. Now, jets are not technically tentacles, and black holes are not actively hunting for matter in space. They do not chase stars and planets, and yet they exude an uncanny power. The radio galaxy mutates into a blazar. Honestly, would you be shocked if you witnessed such a spectacle? Perhaps as astronomers, you'd prefer to calculate exactly how far away the galaxy is in this case, and whether the effects of the jets are sure to reach us. You never know, and the cosmos always has a few surprises in store. In this case, the astronomers kept a cool head. Instead of panicking, they went about their work objectively and first reclassified the galaxy. The new orientation of the jets turned the radio galaxy PBCJ233.9 into a blazar. These are special types of radio galaxies whose emissions are aimed directly at Earth. Yes, you heard that right. There are a whole series of galaxies and strong winds in space that point directly at our Earth. That's crazy, isn't it? Blazars, if they are far enough away, are indeed fascinating cosmic spectacles. The jets, with their variable and high energy emissions, can send extremely bright and sometimes flickering radiation towards Earth. But why did PBCJ233.9, or rather the black hole at the center of this galaxy, suddenly change direction? This is a scientific mystery. Researchers suspect that a possible collision with another galaxy or internal dynamic processes in the black hole itself could be responsible for the sudden change in direction. Such events arouse the particular curiosity of astronomers as they reveal a great deal about the dynamics of galaxies and the forces at work within them. However, the real superstars of these spectacles are the jets. These powerful phenomena consist of charged particles and they are probably key factors in the transfer of energy in the vicinity of supermassive black holes. Their particles race into space at close to the speed of light and we know of galactic jets that reach far beyond the boundaries of their galaxies and thus certainly have an influence on the entire cosmic environment. With the help of the JWST and its extremely fine instruments, 
Researchers can now observe jets in real time and easily study their compositions and also changes within the particle streams. The telescope's sensitive measuring instruments can calculate the exact composition of the winds, including all the chemical elements, gases, temperatures, and speeds involved. The scientists sit comfortably in their observatories and are presented with such perfect analysis that it is almost if they were there live. Black Holes as Creatures of the Galaxies Have you ever wondered why there are black holes at the center of galaxies? We don't yet know exactly whether they grow there or whether galaxies grow around the black holes. What is certain is that the dynamics of black giants play a major role in shaping galaxies. The black holes are the centers from which the spiral shapes often emulate, just as we know it from the inside of flowers. It is therefore certain that black holes not only have a destructive character, but are also involved in dynamic growth processes. The question of whether black holes are actually the creators of galaxies is particularly exciting. Supermassive black holes are extremely dense objects whose mass can be millions to billions of times greater than that of our Sun. They naturally exert an immense gravitational pull which captures light and influences the behavior of stars and gases in their vicinity. Researchers therefore suspect that the presence of black holes at the center of galaxies is no coincidence, but a central element of galaxy evolution. The common idea of the central role of black holes in the formation of galaxies currently looks like this. Galaxies begin their journey as large clouds of gas and dust that eventually collapse under their own gravity, and during this collapse, the material in the center begins to condense, eventually forming a supermassive black hole. Anyone with a little knowledge of astronomy and cosmology knows that the scenario of star formation is practically the same. And we know that stars can leave behind black holes after they finally burn up. When a star forms in such a cloud of dust and gas, and when a central galactic black hole forms, depends on factors such as the size and density of the dust cloud, the prevailing forces, and perhaps also a little bit on chance. Once a central black hole is formed in a cloud of dust and gas, it begins to attract and accrete the surrounding gas. This releases energy in the form of radiation, which in turn helps to heat and ionize the surrounding gas. Jets emanating from the poles of the rotating black holes could play an important role in shaping the young galaxies. As galactic winds, they shape the surrounding interstellar medium and probably stimulate star formation in the vicinity of the black hole through radiation and heat. The processes that form galaxies are very complex and they are like chain reaction. One process leads to another, and presumably all events in the universe are connected in this way. Another impressive aspect of the relationship between black holes and galaxies is the feedback. As the black hole accumulates material around it, it experiences periods of particularly intense activity that affect the entire ecosystem of the galaxy. Experts refer to this as the AGN feedback, which can boost or limit the growth of the galaxy and significantly determine its final size and structure. Supermassive black holes are therefore not the actual creators of a galaxy, but as active centers, they are key elements in the growth and formation of a galaxy. How endangered are we by black holes around the Earth? Are you also surprised to get to know black holes from this friendly and creative side? But we must not completely forget that these giants of the cosmos also attract and decompose large quantities of matter. Anything that comes close to a black hole will disappear from the universe, possibly forever. We do not yet know exactly what happens to all the matter that is sucked in by black holes. To put it bluntly, these large objects could also be something like giant recycling machines. That's a fascinating idea, but we'd rather not get too close to such a cosmic recycler. Or what do you think? Now let's look at how real the threat of black holes is for us on Earth. The closest known black hole is called V616 Monocerotis and is about 3,000 light years away from us. That's reassuring. But there's another small catch. We are far from knowing all the black holes, and there are even some that roam freely in the galaxy. That sounds crazy, but here too, astronomers are giving the all clear. 
The first observed wandering black holes are also far enough away not to snowball past here in the foreseeable future, and we would probably notice it soon if any other black hole were wandering around here. The enormous gravity alone would make such an object noticeable, even if we couldn't see it directly. You probably already knew that our Milky Way also has a supermassive black hole at its center. Sagittarius A is about 26,000 light years away from us, because our home planet is located in one of the outer spiral arms of the galaxy, and therefore far away from the center. Sagittarius A is a real monster with a mass of around 4 million solar masses. It keeps the stars of the Milky Way, including our Sun, in their orbits, and thus also gives our orbit a certain stability. Astronomers doubt whether the Earth would be drawn to the center of the galaxy at some point. We are too far away for that, so there is no danger here either. However, if a black hole were to come closer to our Earth, the effects would be serious. The immense gravitational force of a nearby black hole could trigger tidal forces that could destabilize the Earth and even pull it out of its orbit. However, such scenarios are considered purely hypothetical, and there is no evidence in real astronomy that such a scenario is about to occur. Subscribe to the channel now to receive new exciting videos on an ongoing basis.